welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, I am Karina Luna and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Guys, go ahead and subscribe right now to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up because I know you guys are going to like it. So as you can see, today we are doing a sushi mukbang Q&A. You guys asked me some questions via through my Instagram. You don't follow me through Instagram. Go ahead and follow me. It is the same as my YouTube channel at It's Karina Luna on IG. I forgot to submit a question. Oh my God, do you just want to ask me one right now? Sure. Okay. So right now, um, just so you guys know, um, I have my sushi plate. Obviously, I'm not going to be wasteful. I'm going to get what I usually eat. I usually eat two rolls, but this time I got three. Um, so I got the eel avocado roll, the Philadelphia roll, and the pink lady. So that is what I'm going to be eating. And I also have my miso soup. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the miso soup. So, so like, what's your question? What is something that you would like to share more on your channel or bring awareness? Oh, like a serious topic? It could be whatever topic. It doesn't have to be serious. Or what goals do you have for your channel? Yeah, that one's much easier. <laughs> so, <laughs> so on the soup now. <laughs> I was gonna choke on the soup. That was a hard question. That's like literally, I'm gonna have to think real hard on that first question. I'm still thinking about like a good answer of that. I just feel like when it comes to what I would like to share on, what was the first one? Like, what's something that you want to bring awareness to on your channel? Like, what's like. It could be from, well, I don't want to give examples. I, I want to see what you have. I think I would like to bring more awareness of, like, our Latino communities. Okay. That we are, like, we come in different forms. You know what I mean? It's not. Do I know what you mean? Oh, well. Well, basically, like, I'm trying to say, like, we're, we don't all look the same. You know, we have. Latinos that are more darker skin. We have Latinos that are more fair skin. Like we have different, what's it called? We have different races in us, you know? And like me, myself, as you can see, I have African descent in me. And when I came to the States, it was like, oh, you're Latina. They, they're like, oh, I wouldn't know you were Latina if you didn't speak Spanish. I think that's something that a lot of people don't fully know of you know that we do come in different shapes sizes and colors as well you know so i think that that we're very diverse in our latino community for my channel one thing i do really want to achieve by the end of this year is to get to at least 500 subscribers i would say a thousand but that's me shooting for like the stars but me being being very realistic like I am, I would say I would say like at least five hundred subscribers. Like just you know, that's why I need you guys to subscribe. You guys help me get to my goal. So hopefully, you know, I can reach a wider audience and grow my audience because this is something I definitely want to do long term and I would love for this to be like my full time job, you know? So that is definitely like one thing I'm willing to, I really want as, that my YouTube career really take off. For my YouTube career to really take off. I'm rambling guys, I'm rambling. I need more towards lifestyle and vlogs and fashion based YouTubers. And the yeah. YouTubers that I follow that catch my interest are people in the LGBTQ community. Yeah. Black women, I lean more towards black. Me too. YouTubers in fashion then and very like I love like yeah very like I usually follow like more African American YouTubers and more like people that are not even from the states like 
from like London or some shit like that. Because I love their accent. Like I wish I had a London accent. I'm not even going to lie. And as of recent, I've been following a lot of like Asian YouTubers too. Yeah. But Asian women that are into fashion. I drown my soy sauce in wasabi. You haven't tried that? You drown your wasabi in soy sauce? Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I no regrets. No regrets. It's like a cooking in the box. So like, if you hear that sizzling noise, she's making some chicken. You need to check the audio to make sure that it's loud enough. I think it is. You think? Yeah, because I speak loud. Yo puedo vender pastelillo por ahí. I can sell some, some pastelillos, some empanadas. What's a talent that no one knows about or that you've never shared? I feel like if you knew me back then, you'll probably know this talent. I don't do it as much right now. Um, but a talent that I had or I have, not that well anymore, but I sing, you know. I have a little rhythm in my voice. Um, I used to be in choir all throughout my high school years. And I used to perform like on stages and stuff. It's not something that I currently do right now. The most I do it is here at home with my family when we're doing karaoke. But yes, singing. I thought you were gonna say the piano. Oh yeah. That was a fun fact. Can you sing in your intro? I think. Oh yeah, I do. Guys, I used to play piano. You played in like this big center when you were there. I love how Suleika is the one that's giving me these ideas because it's true. I did play in the Houston Community sing. Center like, in New York. It like, doesn't take much for people to figure out that you had to sing. Okay. Like sing in the shower, you sing, <laughs> talking to people, you literally sing your intro. <laughs> Hidden talent. <laughs> I sing. Oh, okay. I guess I won't put that on. <laughs> you said it's funny. <laughs> Guys. Hidden talent. I sing. I love you. You're so cheesy. My God. So, like, that's so funny. She's funny. I love you. I think I know that. <laughs> so like, ah, shut up. <laughs> Korea can dance. I feel like that's another hidden talent because you people don't see that from you alone. And I she's also, a beast at dancing. And I also dance. The girl can dance, but that yummy yummy. professionally dance salsa not that basic two steps to the side to the side like you from your auntie <laughs> she literally knows combinations how many gal salsa dancers can say that if you actually have taken the time to really master a dance like Karina's practically like a professional not anymore she's retired I feel like she's, she's retired she's but yeah I also used to professionally dance salsa um, we used to travel and just represent Puerto Rico um, with my dance academy, which was Sky Dance Academy in Puerto Rico, Lisa in Puerto Rico. Shout out to you guys. And yeah, I got to visit Connecticut probably like th two or three times and then we got to go to New York. And yeah, it's something that I've always loved. We performed throughout countless shows, even I started dancing in Cava, Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, and with my instructor, which was Henry Dupre. And yeah, it was definitely something I, I went in it, cause I was like, I don't know, I just wanna like do something. It wasn't something that I was like, oh, I'm gonna like love it. But I ended up loving it so much and I ended up doing it for so long. When I moved to Texas, I was around like three years without dancing like that. We would just go to clubs and I would just like dance the little numbers, whatever. I think I have a clip of you all dancing a guy. It's okay. And <laughs> yeah, so now I recently started getting back to it. My friends, Vanessa and I, 
we go to our salsa classes every Tuesday and we just have the bestest time because fun fact she also used to compete too so that's what literally bonded us and our Tuesdays is like us for us to go and dance and just have fun and just like relive our glory days, if you will. Those are my Tuesdays. My Tuesdays are for my salsa days, my salsa classes. And I look forward to it every freaking week. What, what's your favorite hobby? Mapping. Eating. I love, honestly, I love spending time with my family. Like, I love for us to go out and just like, go to a restaurant, spend time together, have a couple drinks, and just like chill, you know? I think that's my favorite hobby. Other than singing, but <laughs> you guys already know that. <laughs> Too late, Kat, you're terrible. terrible. No, I'm not. I'm giving you quality content. Here you are. I'm showing my face. <laughs> mm. And I love to shop. Is that a hobby? I think it is. So, so Karina has agreed to do a styling video with me. So that will be fun. So check out Sulu Let's Live only on Sulu Let's Live on YouTube. <laughs> How y'all look about myself? Makeup makes me crack up. It's true what? It's true what? Kamari said. Kamari said you're very funny. Out of all of our sisters, you probably are the most interesting one to watch. Hello. <laughs> yes. I that was so cute. I told you to do the jingle. It was it was you who gave me. I did it once. I know, and, and I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't see anybody. I don't see anyone doing intros like that. I think it's really cute and it's very new. Like you're very. Karina's like the most photogenic person. Karina is the most photogenic person I know. Yeah. She is the most photogenic, it's true. Like, there is no bad photo. So when this girl's trash talking herself, I'm like, what are you looking at? Like every, it's like she knows where the camera is. And it's just, <laughs> the angles pop up. Make sure to include the exit sign there. <laughs> so guys, if you look at my last post, my last post, we were, so again, I went to the movies and we saw um, The Secrets of Dumbledore, fire, loved it. And so in the parking lot, I was like, yo, like, let's take this opportunity and have a photo op. And I really wanted the exit sign. And I told, and she kept cutting the exit sign. I was like, girl, get the exit sign. She was like, why you want the exit sign? It was because I already had the caption in my head what I was gonna say. So I was like, I need the exit sign because then it's gonna tie in together the whole picture so and then so she just kept cutting off the exit sign and i was like why are you cutting off the exit sign i need the exit sign but check out that photo on instagram you if you still it. have not you can insert if, it if you have not seen that video i mean that picture um but yeah i'll insert it right here but i'd rather you guys go to my instagram you know, and follow you gay that? <laughs> you know I'm not, but I'm not. I was gonna say I was gonna say something very inappropriate, but I wasn't because I was like, technically, I'd be gay because I like men, right? I just really wish the LGBT community really included us. We're the plus sign. We're the plus, and I'm okay with that. I guess. Um, I was gonna say I'm as straight as a line, but that line can curve. <laughs> <laughs> With the right kind of drink. Ooh, Ooh okay. Ooh, let me stop. I'm, I'm taking. Thinking. Don't look at me. I'm <laughs> freaky deaky. No, yeah. I'm no. taking. Don't even look. No, that. Mm. I love miso soup. Much respect to the LGBTQA plus community. I love the LGBT, the LGBTQ plus community. Do you prefer sit down um, videos or um, or vlogs? I prefer, if I'm being like 100% honest, I prefer sit down videos. 
Just because I feel like whenever I have Eat like your a, food. So like uh, I feel like whenever <laughs> whenever I have like an idea in my head, like I feel like I can execute it much more better, like execute it better than actually like a vlog. Like a vlog. I really want to do a McBomb with Suleika. So, tune into that one next. We're going to do it next week, right? Oh, that's what you want to do for your channel and yeah. your collaboration? Yeah, I want us to do. And I want us to do it. I want us to do seafood. Girl, seafood is expensive. Right. I mean, we're going to do it. I don't mind. <laughs> we have to and a place that does a good broil. I mean, I wouldn't mind Lotus. And just to get the broils, because they have like, the best bread. That is so far, bro. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. This, from this moment on, is for me. Peace and love. So we're doing seafood. I feel like myself with vlogs, I feel more pressured because I really, want to make everything aesthetically pleasing and I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys good content, going to cute places. So for vlogs, like, I feel more, a bit more pressure, you know, because I want to make sure that you guys have fun watching it as well. You know, I just don't want to fill myself on the couch doing what I normally do, which is eat and watch series. So yeah, I feel like sit down videos are more my thing because I feel like it's more structured. I feel like Lala likes sit down too. I prefer more. I like vlogs. So like Alex vlogs. I like doing, I enjoy doing vlogs, but my vlogs. Why don't you just want to come in? No, I tell you it's just my voice. <laughs> Save it, girl, this is a mug bong. Keep eating. <laughs> Eat it. This is a pink lady. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Mm. You don't like that. Mm. Slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I like I I like how I'm answering your questions too. It's like featuring call me Z, call me Jay Z in Mariah Carey's Heartbreaker video. If you don't get why I said that, just watch the music video. Heartbreaker, cause you a pop to make up on a piece me, of paper. Scribble down now. Is yeah. it me or was there not a scene of Jay Z in the hot tub acting like Scarface and Mariah Carey in the they took it out of the video because I watched it twice and I'm like, hold on, something. Else. I don't remember if I'm being very, but I think I did see something like that. They probably took it out. I think they did take it out. I'm like, my question is why? You know, it's part of controversy. I don't know. Maybe Beyonce was like, uh huh, my mom has been in a hot tub. Take it out. I don't know. I'm like, God, if any one of y'all watching this, McBot. It knows what happened. Put the link down below. <laughs> Please, I'm curious. I just, every time I see that music video, girl, I think about that scene, and it's clear as day in my brain. This whole week, I've been stuck on '90s, '90s and early 2000s music at work. That's all I've been playing. And girl, I literally, I'm obsessed right now with the song "I See You" by Fantasia. I see you. Oh yeah, I'm just because I wanted to end. I like that question and I know you wanted to answer that. What? Which one? I like. I feel like I like vlogs because I personally like watching. That's the reason why I enjoy doing it. I like doing sit downs. I don't. I love doing sit downs, but it's like I love doing vlogs just a little teeny mini 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 more. I love vlogs for when I'm traveling. Like, best believe when we go. I love seeing people to travel. I love it. We're gonna go. Cause I feel like honestly, like the only times I film is my days off, and currently I only have two days off, and it puts so much pressure. I feel like I feel more pressure if I if if I already know that we're gonna do something cool during that weekend. I'm like, a bet I'm gonna vlog. But if it's not, like I'm like I ain't gonna film myself literally on the couch for ten plus hours. You know, doing absolutely nothing but just watching Netflix. Like, I don't think 
Somebody's gonna find that interesting because I'm gonna be like, girl, what you watching for 12 hours straight? Because I'm that binger. I binge. What's your favorite designer brand? Designer brand. I think I keep going back to Balenciaga, if I'm being honest. Like, there's a couple things from Balenciaga that I that I really want. And I love Prada. I love how Prada, actually I'm gonna say Prada. I love Prada just because I feel like it's very fun, very young, and very casual. And there's a couple things from Prada that I'm like, I really do need. If I'm going for like something super, super high end, um, I say, obviously Chanel. I love Chanel. I don't really know. I just, I'm not really picky when it comes to fashion brands. I just like what I like and that's it, you know? I'm just like, I, I really don't, don't. There's like some things that I look at and I'm like, shoot, like, I really want that. So Leica is the one that's getting like, she really informs me more on the fashion side. So like even her channel, her channel is mainly about the luxury life, like, so, and uh, if you're into that, go ahead and check her channel out at Sulu Lux Life. I'll link it down below as well. What place would you like to travel next? I want to go to Spain. That's literally one of my, I really wanted to go to Spain for my 25th birthday, but I would love to go to Ibiza, Spain, specifically. Um, I feel like the beach is there, the hotels that I've seen is so beautiful. And everybody that has gone to Spain and like Italy and all that good stuff, they tell me out of all that, like Italy, Greece, and Spain, Spain has been their top, um, their top stop. So I would love to go to Spain. And then I would love to go to like the other sides, like Greece, Italy, and whatnot. Guys, I'm legitly so full right now. Like, I wanna take a nap. I couldn't even eat the whole thing. I'm probably just gonna leave this for later on. <laughs> I need water. And for all the questions you guys have sent me, obviously like, Suleika was so funny. Like, I feel like she always brings out my goofy side. Um, But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for anybody that made it all the way to the end. As always, thank you guys. I love you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang Q&A. I will be doing more of these soon. If you really liked it, tell me what we should eat next um, on the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Come on, guys. Go ahead and subscribe. You guys are already here. Just do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much once again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Besos. Bye!